Hey guys, Teresa here. So today's gonna be a little bit of a different type of video. Today I just wanted to make a video, one, to pay homage to Tracy Simmons Gordon for the inspiration, and two, to show her and show you my very first diva wreath. And I didn't even know that was a thing until one day her video popped up in my feeds and I absolutely loved it. And I did my very first one and Tracy, I just wanted to show you. I will also post uh, the video that inspired me the most of hers below. So if anyone's starting or you're getting ready to do your first diva wreath, I suggest that you watch her video. She's straight to the point. Everything's like real deal, hands on. And actually I, this is my first one and I absolutely love it. So. What I did, instead of printing out someone else's image, I actually took a photo of my daughter. Okay. And I did the uh, photo transfer image. What I did was I printed out a, a photo of my daughter. I blew it up. I actually I turned it into a cartoon and then I blew it up to an eight by 10 just for her face here. Uh, everything else, her hair and everything, I didn't even cut out, so it's hidden in the back there. Uh, but what I did was I took the photo and put Mod Podge on it and did the whole transfer of the photo. And you know, just to let you guys know if you do this method, that a majority of the videos say that you have to use an inkjet printer I just recently started seeing that uh, laser printers are actually better. I use an inkjet printer. They say with an inkjet printer, the photos come out dull once you do the whole transfer process. And I found that mine was uh, very dull. But a lot of people are saying that if you use the laser printer, it comes out more vibrant. And then of course you just use like regular printer paper. And so I, I got her photo onto there and I used the method that uh, Tracy uses and it was just, it was a breeze and I absolutely just love this project. Um, her earrings actually, so you can get creative. And you know, the problem with me is that something piques my interest and I run with it and then I don't stop. And I can see, now that I'm seeing all these YouTube videos, I'm noticing that this is like addictive and people are just really being creative and and just doing so much great work. Um, but with her earrings, what I did was I took a wooden loop here and I just cut it in half. I sprayed it with silver and then I sprayed it with a little bit of metallic and I chose to give her some earrings. Um, so Tracy, I just really wanted to chime in. It's one thing to actually get a YouTube message that says, hey, thank you. Uh, I'm sure that you get that all the time, but I actually wanted to just reach out to you directly and tell you that I thank you uh, because this really inspired me. Um, your videos inspired me and I really enjoyed doing this. I did the last finishing touches, so I was up till four in the morning because my daughter um, is in barber school. And I thought that this would be the greatest gift for her. Um, if she ends up opening up a, a salon or shop in the future, if she wanted to, she can actually uh, hang this up there. But, you know, it's personalized and I just find it to be amazing. Now the problem is, is now I kind of want to do one for every single one of my family members. And I'm, I don't know if the guys would even care for that. I know the guys wouldn't really care for that, but anyways, it's it'll spark your creative side. Again, Tracy, it's Teresa here. I just wanted to thank you and tell you that you're doing such a great job and you're inspiring more people than you know. And there's a lot more projects out there, I'm sure, that you're not even aware of that you kind of piqued that interest. So thank you so much. Oh, before I let you guys go, I just wanted to let you know to, if you use this method and you use an inkjet printer, it's going to come out dull. What I did was I just used this clear glaze and sprayed over it and it makes it pop. So, little trick and trade here. So, namaste. Thank you so much, Tracy. Keep doing what you do. You're doing an amazing job and you've inspired me. So, I just wanted to let you know that.